in your base and stuff. Once you hit a certain number of units, the, what people need to remember is, okay, so when you have ranged units that it feels like you get really far behind, let me just say this real quick and then I'm gonna actually cast this game. Okay, so just real quick, right? So think about this, roaches, stalkers, uh, you know, it, it, all sorts of games have, vultures in StarCraft 1, uh, you'll feel like, okay, well, he has six stalkers and I have five, I have to get seven, right? Uh, and it feels like that for a while. And you're like, well, I can't be making this other shit like a cannon until, you know, because I have to make enough stalkers. But actually, the millisecond you get to the number where they can't all fire at once, that's where you can start adding stuff very comfortably without any fear. Not a ton of stuff, but yeah. Like, if you have stalkers walking around in the back that aren't able to fire, it doesn't matter that you have those at the beginning of the engagement. So that's, like, think about that if you're actually a player. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and look at this game. <laughs> All right, this should be fun. I, I'm excited to see Stats play. I saw that he's doing reasonably well in GSL now. Uh, he is back from military and everything, obviously. Stats, uh, one of my favorite players. Really nice dude as well. Got to hang out with him a little bit in Katowice before. Uh, excellent dude. Love his defensive style. Uh, probably the most one-dimensional top pro we've ever had and ever will have. So unfathomably one-dimensional. Uh, shocking, even. Shocking. If he had mixed in one all-in per best of seven, he might actually have been the GOAT. And I'm not even kidding. I am not even kidding about that. One all in per best of seven. That's all he would have needed to do. And he would have won like so many championships. It would have been crazy. Ah, anyways, um, still a great player and excited to see what he's going to be able to do. Yeah, Innovation switched his name to Innovation. I think he was trying for a fresh start in StarCraft 2. For those of you who don't know, in Brood War, uh, he was getting very well known. In fact, he was in the last big Star League event uh, before switching to StarCraft 2. And uh, his name was Bogus. I thought that was a great ID. Bogus. What a cool ID for a fucking sick macro Terran. Don't know why he switched to Innovation. They paused. I'll, I'll get it back in there as soon as they unpause. Let's go. So stats chasing down this Reaper. Oh, sick. Hey, Dunebug. What's up, man? Dunebug, I actually sent you some messages today. Good to see you. Oh, it's nice that he had a good run, though. I want Stats to return back to the top. I love it when Stats is one of the best players. You know, I had I mentioned in that in a video I made about how, like, people are talking about imbalance from Protoss, like, being too weak. But actually, just no one knows how to fucking macro. Everyone's just a cheesy shit. Guess what, bro? Play bad, be bad. So sad, why mad? Cause bad. All right, so uh, forces those out pretty quickly. Not a lot of damage, just a little bit of tit for tat. You've been sick, sorry to hear, man. Hope you feel better soon. Just some thoughts on it that I had. I did a ton of math out to try to figure it out. Most of it comes down to time constraints, but not entirely sure. I'm gonna give it a try. Anyways, uh, yeah, stats. Taking his third base. Blink Robo. Robo uh, not even done as that third Nexus is going up, so I like to see that. A little bit of greed going on, a little bit. Nickrakt. Ooh, two racks and a tank on the way. Okay, so Nickrakt probably going to try to hit some sort of uh, timing attack.
Okay. I'm trying with the uh, mind drop. Three kills. Doesn't quite get the uh, medevac. So not the best. Not the best right there. That's okay, though. Pops that uh, Hellion. I think the medevac should be able to get away without too much problem. See what Nicaract is is up to here momentarily. I don't I actually. I was said that I thought he was going to go for a timing. I wasn't paying attention in the early game. Looking at this right now, it doesn't look that way. I think he's going to have to start a third command center. There is no way in hell that he is going to be able to make these units from the buildings he has go across the map and do anything. That is not going to occur. Stats is going to have his third base up. He's going to have charge. You know, his, his plus one won't even be very far behind. Like, he might actually have plus one around the same time as his opponent. Like, getting into Colossi as well. Like, I, yeah, yeah. Nickrack needs to go for another command center. There's no way in hell he's going to be able to attack. So a lot of gates finishing up here. And yeah, Nickrack gonna try to get some harass done. Good targeting. Yeah, it gets two probes, not not too bad. Plenty of marauders being made. Yeah, and like that looks scary, but what do we have? Eight gates are gonna be done here, I wanna say. I'd be very surprised if stats does not just fucking smack this. He's going to have two Colossi. Range is almost done. He has charge. He is supply blocked. That is a bit of an issue. He's missed a big warping round here. Like, he could have a lot more units right now, see? And he would have had just about another warping round, too. Imagine having eight more units than he has here. Definitely missed a little bit there on the macro. Yeah, dude. He's going to crush this still. Just one more round of eight Zolots and you're good. Hopefully for Nickrack's sake, he has enough, something else that's going to happen. Maybe he runs in. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Dude, he got supply blocked again and started four more pylons. Am I watching me on my worst day? Oh my god. Dude, these fucking supply blocks. Look at his minerals. 1,200 minerals on three base. Oh, man. Dude, just make the fucking pylons. Yeah, getting that feedback ready. Okay, fourth base coming up. Okay, uh, looks like a Zealot Prism going across the map for a bit of harass. Stats rotating over here, getting annoyed of these uh, units on the fringe. Big attack from Nickrack moving up the other side. Let's see what he gets done with that. This is kind of a nice catch, I think. Blink forward, come on. There we go, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Now recall, 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 recall. Where am I recall at? There it is, there it is. Oh, that's hilarious. He recalls and two Colossus pop out in the front. <laughs> really, it should have been the gateway units. I don't, you don't need the Colossi there. 
you know? If you just warp in and you have stalkers in your army, you're pretty happy. Oops. All right, stats moving across the map. Some good catches. Ooh, good mines from Nicarak. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Damn, dude. Get wrecked, stats. Get out of here. Europe number one. Didn't you hear they have the GOAT, even though he didn't win as much as a Korean player? That's not exciting. Damn, son. Get wrecked. All right, Prism flying back. Hmm. No, no harassment there. Good looking production tab here from stats. Has to remake his secondary robo. Nice catch from Nicaract. I like it. Very much. Always love uh, Viking sketching prisms. That is a lot of zealots, guys. Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm being quiet here for a moment. I'm just thinking about how uh, intellectually dishonest the StarCraft II scene is with the GOAT discussion. Sorry. It's getting me tilted while I think about it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, this move forward. Look at the amount of zealots, man. Like 90% of the zealots are not even hitting during this. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> wow, the landed Viking move from Nicaragua. Kind of a cute play with the Vikings. Like, I think this is what they wanted Vikings to do, but even in this very upgraded state, they're not really able to do it well. Big warp in of zealots over here. Mm. It's actually kind of an interesting game, I guess. It feels to me like stats is like um, he's winning, right? Like it, it, he definitely he definitely does have an edge, and it feels like it's inevitable that he's going to win. Maybe it's not, but it, it kind of feels that way to me, right? Like he's been getting his bases a bit quicker. He's, he hasn't been super clean with everything, but it feels like he's he's done a lot so far in this game as far as like kind of stayed up with an edge. G. Stat's going to be able to take it. All right, kind of a good game there. Uh, I wouldn't call that stats in form. Like, he's he's looks pretty good, but it's not. Like, stats when he went to the military was, like, one of the best ever. And that was not what we just saw there. Not sure I'm a fan of this new emote. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Would I even uh, consider Nick Rack in the GOAT discussion? You should ask the European fans, man. He's a European, so maybe they would. What? Tunga 111 cheered. X300 Polo Arty. My girlfriend is writing her term paper on low IQ individuals and I was wondering if you could give her permission to use the chat from your StarCraft 2 viewers as evidence. <laughs> I think the way they debate on whether Cyril or Clem is the GOAT could make a great comparative to how chimps will debate which chimp is better at stacking rocks <laughs> than the other. Thank you, Tungar. She, she has my blessing. <clears throat> All right, so hard lead. Ooh, we might get stats versus Gumio after this. Sick. All right. Um. Well, I mean, it's early game, so we wait a little bit. We see what openers these guys want to end up going with. Hmm. Hope you guys are doing well here today. Thank you everyone for stopping by. Uh, I do want to remind you guys, we do have a, uh, VOD channel for StarCraft 2 cast, Stormgate cast, Zero Space cast, all that good stuff. Use the command StarCraft 2 to get to that YouTube channel. Also, Mapu is our observer tonight, as he always is. You can use the command Mapu to follow him and check out his stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, and, uh, hope you follow the channel as well as we cast this cup every single week. And I think the cup is going to be pretty good this week as well. Like, this is already, like, a decent match. But, uh, yeah, like, a Gumiho stats would be pretty good. Someone just mentioned that stats and Gumiho actually played the finals of the Korean Cup today. So that's that's pretty exciting. With the Gumiho winning 3-2. It's fun to see stats start to do well again, huh? Kind of a... It was a fun age when he was, when he was on top. Definitely very good stuff. Yes, yes, shield battery, it has that. Go and subscribe. Oh! Nice catch. Good catch there by stats. Okay. Twilight on the way as soon as he kills that off. Cyclone coming up on the other side. I wonder how good stats is it dealing with Cyclones right now. Doesn't look like it's a heavy Cyclone play, so at least there's that. Maybe just a defensive Cyclone here. Maybe a little bit of Scout. We'll see. What was that? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the fucking battle net launcher trying to annoy me. All right. Uh, hallucinated Phoenix going across. I love it, man. The hallucinated Phoenix scout. We have we don't see this very often right now. In this matchup, you really don't see it very often, but it used to be the thing. So good to see stats staying true to his roots. Blink Robo. Uh, is this a two-gate Blink Robo? I believe that. Yeah, it is. It is a two-gate Blink Robo. So, he's getting two more gases. I believe he's going to go for a support bay before his... Uh... Oh, wow. He adds a third gate after two gases. But I, again, I think he'll probably go for his support bay here as well before a third. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Like, you wouldn't get those two gases unless you were going to add the support bay. The support bay, though, like... 
I'm not like a super fan of this. I guess if you scouted that and you look at that and you say, I'm getting all in. Yes, excellent. Like, I, I like that type of play. But that's not the read I get from what he scouted. I think that his build is already very solid and he could have just made a third Nexus into that and been in, been in a better spot. But I guess we'll see. Hey, well, I guess he did read it. I, I'm surprised and impressed to to read that because that again that didn't really as bowser well. approached peach Ooh. he unsheathed his long okay, thick hold on. veiny oh, penis oh no 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 that's not happening jesus christ uh anyways that is bad for stats right there uh that is no good losing that prism losing those units very very painful i think he's just dead now like, you can't... If he had the prism, he could at least, like, juggle his claw side. This is this is pretty awful, though. Looks like Nickrack is going to be able to... Get him. It's wild, because it felt like Stats figured out what was going on, but then he flew across the map with the prism, so it shows me he didn't know. But, like, his build was perfectly situated to stop this. GG. Yeah, that was a weird one for me, okay? Because, okay, adding the two... So he goes two gate, blink, robo. Very normal way to take a third base. And then throws down two gases. So it's like, okay, he's going for support bay. What happened to make him go support bay? Well, he just sent a scout. Maybe he sees that it's an all in. Then I look at the buildings and it's like, I mean, it could be, but it, I don't feel like it's super obvious that it is. It looks more like maybe he's making a Raven. Maybe he's making a Banshee. He's going a tank for defense. He's probably going to add some other shit. But it wasn't all in, but he flew across the map, so that wasn't his read. Your read when you see that your opponent is about to all in you is not to go support bay and then fly your prism across the map with four depths in it into an oncoming, uh, oncoming army. So that was a weird game. That was a w that was weird. Huh. All right. We'll be going into game three. Looks like we have a fast tournament today, guys. Fast, fast tournament today. Thank you, guy in the chat. Appreciate it. Dude, fucking, okay, first off, this fucking blizzard launcher, go fuck yourself. Sable sounds. Settings. Jesus. They made me update the battle net launcher and now it comes up and bothers me when people are doing things on my friends list. I don't know what's wrong with these companies. Make it more social. Fuck you forever, forever and ever. Dude, I updated OBS yesterday and suddenly it wouldn't record videos for me anymore and I had to upgrade all my graphic drivers. Worked for years. Upgrade OBS one time. No, dude, your shit isn't compatible like this. Technology was a mistake. Technology was a mistake. I wish I was Amish. It's too late. I have four fucking kids. Make my living online. What can I do? Now, hammers are a mistake, too. <laughs> Fuck. 
fire was a mistake. Trying to control a fire is where we really went wrong. That's where we went wrong. Cooking our meat and making our brains grow. That's the thing. Protoss players are descended from those cavemen who did not cook their meat. And thus, more of their energy had to go towards stomach digestion and less towards brain growth. Science, guys. Evolution. Yeah, they do have great jaw lines. They were fucking giga chads, man. <laughs> Asel underscore Foley just resubscribed for 40 months. Evolution. Evolution, man. Uh, so I'm being told by Mapu. <laughs> Lobby creation just broke. On StarCraft 2. <laughs> They're trying to figure it out. I'm watching the chat. Ooh. Water was the real mistake. All life comes from water. Damn, dude. The Big Bang was a mistake. It was straight up a fucking mistake. He thought the explosion was going to look cool, but now look at us. Fucking computers update on their own. Your phone listens to you and serves you fucking ads. It's terrible. We're at a terrible spot. People fucking sit on social media and scroll all day long. Big Bang was a mistake. You say molecules were a mistake, should just had atoms. Yeah, but have you seen? It's like, look, I can get on board with protons and neutrons, but electrons, fuck this shit. You can't tell where they are? What? You can't, are they invisible men? Fuck that shit, man. The original DT, the electron. Fuck that shit. That's where we went wrong was electrons. Fucking Cape Boys. This world's smallest Cape Boys. As Luigi eagerly gulped down the tainted fluids, Peach farted and sprayed brown gunk all over his face. Mario then squatted over Luigi's open mouth and squirted out his own foul brown brew that overflowed down. Okay. That is so bad. Biggest mistake is whoever what? donates these things. Tonga 111 cheered. X300, if you went back and told me in 2003 what software now would be like with the always online shit and profiles everywhere, I wouldn't have believed you. Yeah. And Zuma babies have the gall to tell me I'm seeing it through rose tinted glasses. No, fuck you, you weren't there. Yeah. Things used to work so much yes. better and didn't try yes. to shove stupid shit in your face. Yeah. Everything they call a feature now is actually a hindrance. Yes. And the people in charge of these companies are brain dead. 100% on everything. Tungar, that is 100% accurate. Also, I had this happen recently. It was in the chat where I was mentioning how, like, for instance, Google search used to be the most powerful thing in the world. There was a time where I could search anything on Google and fucking find it. It's no longer the case. It's no longer the case. Between web SEO and just ads and shit, it's complete and utter trash. It's complete and utter trash. And people were actually trying to tell me, yo, you're just not good at searching. Bro, like, those of us who learned how to search the internet in 2002 are fucking gods of searching. It's just the fucking internet broke. Everything's garbage. Everything's monetized. It's fucking terrible. It's honestly terrible. A hundred percent. Dude, I used to be able to fucking... It was crazy. I could find anything. And now I can't find anything. In fact, I use now, when I'm trying to Google, half the time I just go to chat GPT because it does a better job of sifting through the fucking utter garbage than Google does. Google's garbage now. Dude, if I had Google stock, I would fucking sell it. 100%. 
Yeah, we're talking about Google, the advertisement company. It used to be a searching company. Isn't that crazy? Google used to be the best company in the world. Australia has launched a formal inquiry into the degradation of searches. That's awesome. The thing is, I don't trust any fucking government to not be fucking morons about this. So I'm sure it'll go wrong, but it's like a good idea. Google's motto used to be, don't be evil. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they changed their motto from don't be evil to don't be not garbage. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no computer will ever go on my skull guy in the chat. That will not happen. The only way you could ever get me to do any of these weird fucking tech integrations is if I'm like 100 years old and I'm going to die if I don't have something that like regulates something in my body. Like literally that's the only possible way you'll get me to put any of that in me. It's not going to happen. Well, obviously a pacemaker is one, but I'm talking like there might be something in the future where it's like, you know, you need this computer in your head to control the fucking nanobots that keep the cancer cells out of you or some shit, right? Something like that actually could happen. And if that shit happens, I'm super old. Fuck it, I'll do it. I'll try to live as long as I fucking can, man, for sure. Transhumanism is Satanism. I don't know if I would agree with that right now, but I bet you in 50 years I'll agree with that. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised at all if I agree with that in like 15, in 50 years or something. <laughs> Transhumanism is wrong. <laughs> What if you're crippled and you can use it to play StarCraft? No, if I become crippled, I'll just play Protoss instead. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, we finally, someone figured out a workaround. I guess we have to go in without game heart or something. I don't know. They are, they're trying to figure it out right now because the whole cup got held up. quick fossick through the files and there it was the search had concluded with great success a dono was found a classic well no sense in holding back release the dono shit your pants 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 Ravage Talent just resubscribed for one month. <laughs> thank you, Ravage Talent. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're gonna be in the game in just a minute here, guys. We've got it. We've got the workaround. It's starting.
I love that one, man. It's like a giraffe with like fucking four double chins. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Oh my god. Whew. All right. It's time. You're packing to go on a trip. I always put in an extra pair of underwear. It's a smart thing to do. Especially with the guys in the pants always making me think about shit in my pants. I always have an extra pair of underwear and an extra pair of socks when I go on a trip every single time. I think I always put in an extra t-shirt too, actually. I'm like, okay, I need seven t-shirts, so I put eight in. And then I'll have four clean ones when I come back because I forgot I had to wear a fucking dress shirt every day. Every time. <laughs> you pack like your shoes up twice a day. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, guys. We're in Stats vs. Nickerack Game 3. Sorry for the delay. Nothing to do about that. Uh, you know, these indie companies have a hard time keeping their games going. And uh, we're on site Delta. Uh, it'll be a minute before we figure out what these guys want to do. In local Quebec news, a man got stung by a scorpion in his bananas. Stay safe out there. Holy shit. That would be wild. If a, a scorpion stung me from the bananas, my kids would want me to put it into a cage and keep it as a pet. I'd be fucking dying on the floor. <laughs> and they would be wanting to, like, see if they can touch it. All right, uh, so it looks like pretty normal openers. Reaper expand here versus just, uh, you know, standard Nexus. See if he goes into Twilight and Robo once again. See if he wants to mix it up a little bit. All right, so Stalker and Warp Gate, okay. Not going for an Adept or anything early on here, so we'll see if the Reaper maybe can do like a little bit of pressure here, cause a little bit of lost mining. I don't think it really will do much. Looks like, in fact, the Stalker's going to be out in time anyways. So. All right. Zoops right out of there. I love the uh, sentry on the way. Panther shoes just subscribe. I don't know what he's going to be doing here. He needs to put his tech building down, man. We don't know what it's going to be. The sentry's coming up. Thank you, uh, Panther shoes. There's the twilight. Okay, so waits for waits for a bit before he makes that. So we'll be seeing the uh, hallucinated phoenix going across the map relatively soon here. I love how the reaper keeps jumping up as if it will find something new. Dude. Uh, okay, Reactor Hellions and a Banshee. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing too weird there. And... Okay, the four Hellions coming across. Good scouting going on. Look at that block, man. Okay, there you go. Pops one out of the way. Too bad you didn't have a force field there. Oof. That would have been amazing. Force field there would have been so sick. He's actually going to get a fair amount of probes. What is that? Five probes? Nice. Oh, eight probes. Jesus Christ. Some serious damage.
All right, so Blink is on the way here. Uh, I think we're going to see that third base this time as opposed to what we saw previously, that really weird build. No, he is he is going to be going for the support bay. Okay. But a little bit different this time, right? Like, he's going to pressure with the stalkers across the map. Previously, he went with, like, four adepts. Kind of interesting. Okay. Is he going to try to force field the ramp? Could be. He might actually just jump on this as well. The, the Banshees going across the map have some real potential for damage here, by the way. All right, Scouts, what's going on? Yeah, he lifts up. Okay, well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. I feel like Stats is like... <laughs> the way he's playing this is almost like he's nervous or something. Oh, man, he picks up the Sentry. Okay, utilizes that Guardian Shield. Uh, I don't feel like the Sentry did that much. Didn't feel fantastic. Warping in some more Stalkers now. If he can chunk through the Marines, he can actually start to have a good time. But the Banshees are across the map, and they are dealing some serious damage. Damn, dude. A lot going down over there. The Stalkers, though, do just barely manage to cut through everything without really losing their number. A lot of very hurt ones here. Damn. Good, good damage going on right now. The Banshees as well, though. Nickrack to actually up 10 workers at the moment. We'll see if it remains that way. He's just kind of ignoring that over at his home base. Okay, Blink Sword will get rid of this tank. Ah, it does get one more volley off. Marauders popping out. Those are definitely helping. Okay, Nickrack lower now in worker supply. Nice little Blink Forward there. Banshees decide to attack the other base. GG. Wow. Just too much damage. Kind of a weird, weird game there. Weird series.